time, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today with yet another fan gan. Um, so this one was actually sent to me from one of my good friends, Zephyrum. They translated DRA1, if you don't know Zephyrum. Shouts out to Zephyrum. Uh, the team behind this one, shouts out to them. All the links will be in the description down below if you want to play this game for yourself. Right now, only the prologue is out, like currently for the public. Um, Zephyrum did say that if I want to play chapter one, which I'm going to ask you guys at the end of the stream, if you want to check out chapter one and you want me to play that, then we'll do like a poll at the end of the stream and uh, I'll let Zephyrum know if you guys want to see it or not. But for today, we're going to be doing the prologue. So from what I know of this fan gan so far, obviously it's Korean. Um, there are characters from Danganronpa 1 and 2 in this one. And apparently the protag is like a unique character. So it's an original character. She or he is here. Hey, what's up, Zephyrum? Hey! Oh, well, what's going on? One mod here. Do we have Ruxiami here too? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, let me uh, change the, uh, the stream real quick so you guys can see me. Okay. We are here. Especially characters who are underutilized in canon. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking a lot of uh, like Hiyoko from Danganronpa 2. I think I saw Ibuki. Um, when I was just looking at like some of the photos or whatever that one of my friends was showing me. Uh, I think I saw Nekamaru. I don't know. I just know it's a lot of the underrated characters for sure from one and two. The MC is a combination of Hajime with funny avocado man. Really? That's kind of cool. Why am I suddenly on the translation channel instead of the main channel? No close. No clue. Players are so close to 40k dubs. Let's go. I think you meant subs, but yes, you're right. We're so close. We're almost there. I'm really excited for that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, uh, subscribe. If you are a returning person, hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. We need Mahiru without her dying first this time. I think Mahiru is in this one. I think so. I think so. We'll, ha we'll have to see. I got the game open. We're about to start pretty soon here. How's everybody doing? The SHSL Avocado Man. Happy New Year, Imperial. Thank you. Been watching your VODs for the past few weeks. Wasn't sure if you streamed on YouTube or Twitch. Glad I could catch you live. Yes, Polly. We only stream on YouTube uh, for all of the things on this channel. So all of the Fangan stuff that you have been seeing is always streamed here on this channel four days a week. I try to do four days a week very consistently. It's always at 12.15 p.m. my time if we do stream. I pretty much upload daily. First stream I caught live. What's up, Rowler? How you been? Doing fine. It's my uh, second day off in a row. Really? What's going on? Except Cuphead Rampa Part 1. That was on Twitch. Yeah, that was on Twitch because I got hacked. <laughs> I got hacked, so we did that one on Twitch. React to Dog and Rampa Witching Hour, please. We are. We are going to be reacting to that soon. So, shouts out to you, uh, Kaya. Been cleaning my room since the new year, moved my manga shelf, and built a new rack. So very productive. That sounds good. I need to do stuff like that. All of you better be subbed to Blaze. He's so close to 40k subs. That's true. React to Rampa blowback? I think I've heard of that one. Did Zephyrum tell me about that one, or was it somebody else? Somebody told me about that one. I don't know who it was. That one sounds familiar, though. I'm just glad we get to play this one. That's, what, that's the cool thing about this one today. Is I was like, man, man, let's switch it up a little bit. We've been doing a lot of Instagram rompas lately, but we haven't actually played like any fan cans, like physically played them. Usually we're watching videos or we're just reading uh, slides and whatnot. So I'm kind of glad we get to play this one. There's also a Desperate Heart YouTube fan game with the prologue out. That sounds cool. Kai and other people are helping out in this translation. Also, Kai is translating blowback. That's who it was. Kai. Kai is the one that's uh, doing Danganronpa blowback. I thought so. Thanks, Zephyrum. Appreciate you. Hey, Pancake Roll! Thank you for the 20. Have a great stream. Love you, bestie. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Thank you for the dono. Are you comfortable with people sending fan game reaction requests on your Discord like of their own? Yeah, of course. I'm actually going to have a Discord 
specifically for that uh pretty soon like in the next week that you guys can do that on i've seen the channel of desperate heart it looks good who is your favorite character in danganronpa goodbye despair chiaki <laughs> hi chiaki all right i think it's time to start so let's uh let's swap this over Ooh, this looks kind of clean. I definitely like how this looks. It has the V3 freaking screen. That's pretty dope. All right, let me turn this down and we're going to turn the music up. Oh, that classic. Love this song. Hey! Gotta hit him with the V3 title screen. YouTube! It's time! We're gonna be playing some Danganronpa Cross, the beginning of the Despair Plan HD. I'm excited about this one. It's a Korean fan, Gan. Seems dope. Shouts out to the team behind this one. The translation team is phenomenal. Thanks for translating all of the Korean uh, fan Gans for us. It really helps us here on the fan you know in the community right here because we we don't we love fan games at the end of the day we love them and the korean ones are usually pretty good so i'm excited about this one kimmy yos what's up thanks for the two dollars happy new year appreciate you this hd version came up last year it's a good thing the dev leveled up on that coding hey we're about to we're about to see how that coding is like let's check it out oh we got a new game continue exit cool New game for me. We love fan gans. Yes, we do. DRC XX is a fan game from the original Dongrop games. All copyrights belong to Spike Chunsoft, of course. If you do not have the Gothic font, please install it with the font file in the game files. I hope <laughs> I hope I do. I'm making a fan game called Dongrop of Bloody Hearts. You may want to skip the first death though because it's a little too much for YouTube. Oh, I feel you. Oh no! Do I not have the font? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> a government funded privileged private school hope speak academy let me hold on <laughs> almost as if it was the center of the world it stands tall in the middle of the city oh no is it gonna <laughs> is it gonna mess up now <laughs> oh no uh oh i think it yeah i think it's gonna be wait Zephyr, what happened? The image is missing. Wait, what image am I missing? Zephyr had to hurt. He had a. Uh, he had to help me earlier because something was missing before, and I couldn't even boot up the game. So I guess I guess I'm kind of the beta tester for this one. What's up, uh, Carson the Gent Otter? I appreciate the fifteen dollar donation. It's not much, but you've kept me entertained for hours at a time on long days. Have a good one, Blaze. You deserve it. I appreciate you. Hold on, let me see what Zeph says first. Hold on. Let me look at my Discord. Yeah, I think the extraction of the Korean files went amiss on that one. Oh, no! Should I re-download it? Can you react to Dongarap with Sorrow Hope? Maybe in the future. I couldn't get it working. Maybe because of the font. The text box is missing. If I can't play it, I'll just uh, react to the actual. Are your are the images in that directory? I think so. I think I'm like one of the. I'm not gonna say the first people to play, but I'm kind of the beta tester, I guess. One of them. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has played. If I can't play, then I'll just react to the video. I mean, that's fine, and then we can figure it out for chapter one. Oh well. Let me see. Let me see. What's up, Shannon? How have you been? I appreciate you stopping by, by the way. Thank you. Beta tester. Yeah. What's up, ET and Alex? Professional streamer right here. I'm a professional streamer. I should be done with my Dragon Ball Z dog up by next month. That'd be cool. That's a interesting crossover. Finally, you noted me. 
working from hell if file extraction is an issue it probably needs a redownload files are obviously pretty important in downloaded games yeah i've downloaded this like a few times though give me a second Like I said, uh, before I even started the stream, I had to have Zephyrum, Zephyrum help me because the game wouldn't even boot up. Blaze, you might need to extract the picture files again in the extraction. If you get WinWar, try to use Control plus E and set it to Korean. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. What's up? Oh, you're not late. Trust me. We're about to start pretty soon. We just ran into some issues with uh, this real quick. Oh, I see. I have to set it to Korean. Okay, 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 okay. That's what I didn't do the first time. Cool. I think I figured it out. And they are in. Okay, let's reboot it. The loading screen is way too brutal to Jupiter YouTube. I gotta go. I hope the stream works out for you. Thanks, Catfish. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping. Bye. I'll see you later. And let's hit us with a reboot. Hopefully it works this time. Okay. I say I found a fan again. It got your turn to die and little nightmare like put together like both. There's no way. That's kind of cool. Black screen Rampa. <laughs> you should play Dong and Rampa. It's showtime. Uh, what is that? Is that another fan game? Is that an Insta Rampa or is that a an actual like video or something? Okay, I think we're good this time. Oh my god! What the heck? I put the I extracted the files. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh no! Hold on, Zephyrum's helping me. I see them typing. Dong Rapid Showtime is a game. I remember seeing it on the Fang and Wiki. How long is it? Loading error rampa. <laughs> well, it's on YouTube at least. Aw. Oh no. At least people are seeing this now. So if anybody downloads it, because this is public, like you can download this for yourselves if you guys really wanted to play it. That didn't work. That's quite the fail. I could share with you the files, but the picture size is around one gigabytes. Oof, Zeph. That's a lot. Okay, how about this? Zephyrum, since I can't play it, I'll just react to the prologue using your video. And then chapter one will do. And you can just send me chapter one and I'll play that one. Since yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna hold up the stream not, uh any longer. So I think that's a better idea. How do you feel about a Danganronpa fan game where the character are the beta designs of DR2? That'd be cool. Good idea. Yeah. Because it seems like there's some issues. That's okay. We can fix it for chapter one. See if chapter one works. Oh, that makes me sad, though. I really wanted to play it. <laughs> That was going to be like the first fan game I've played in a while. That would have been cool. 
It's okay. It happens. Happens to the best of us, it does. When was the last time we've actually played a fan game? Was it DRA? I think it was DRA. Okay, I think this is the prologue. Sweet. Have you heard of Super Danganronpa and another Despair Academy? Yes. We streamed that one. It was good. We streamed that whole entire series. It was fantastic. I enjoyed every second of that one. All right, y'all. We're going to do it. So we're going to react to the prologue, the full prologue. Then chapter one, hopefully we'll be able to play that one. I'm sad that I couldn't give you guys the actual game today. I'm, I'm sad, but hopefully we fix it for the next one. My bad. So this is Dong Rap Across the beginning of the despair plan. Let's do it. Oh, snap. We got an intro. Let's go. We got an intro Zephyrum. That's awesome. Shout out, <laughs> Shout out to Zephyrum. <laughs> Love you, Blaze. Thank you. The intro is so cute. It was. Aw, please support Zephyrum in any way that you can. I love this. You got a coffee? I need to be a supporter on coffee. That's cool. All right, let's see what this has to offer. This is the HD version, so apparently this is remade. Chiaki skin? Oh, yes. Have you guys seen the Futaba Chiaki? That's interesting. Like Futaba from Persona 5, but it's like Chiaki cosplaying as her. Yo, I watched this yesterday. It's pretty good. I'm excited then. It's going to be a good one. A government-funded, privileged private school, Hope's Peak Academy. We're back! Almost as if it was the center of the world. It stands tall in the middle of the city. Graduating from Hope's Peak Academy is a shortcut to success in life. Numerous graduates from there have been said to advance society and lead in their field. This is starting off just like Danganronpa 1. Even if this is an exaggeration, it still has some sort of truth. SHSL Blaze doesn't show up on Shazam. Nope. With a school this big, there are only two conditions to receive an offer of admission. One, you must be an active high school student. And two, you must be the best in your field. Even in every new semester, people keep coming without fail. People admitted into the school are called ultimate students in the world. The mission of freshmen is a large event. From that, lots of interest is poured into this stuff and related forums thrive. Everyone checks the threads near the semester start. There's Sayaka. Let's go. We're back. Let's so let's look to see who has enrolled this year. I see Mahiru. Let's go. Hey! The ultimate baseball player. Okay, Leon's back. Despite being a high schooler, he has a fastball compared to a professional player with an extremely high batting average. He has attention as a super rookie. Super rookie. Ibuki's here! Let's go! The ultimate musician. She's a guitarist for a well known band. Every song she has made have been hits. Huge hits. Her band has been said to be a genre of music within itself. What a boss. Can we get hearts in the chat for Ibuki? The ultimate biker gang leader. I don't understand why this is called a talent, but... Hey, it is. Why not? A man who leads the number one biker gang in the country. Number one people to avoid if you want to stay innocent. 
True. Leon, more like on La Baseball. So who is the one saying this monologue? Well, I don't know how to explain this. I like his design. Who is a new student at Hope Speak Academy this semester? I am one of the people who wonder this. What is his talent? And don't say question mark, question mark, question mark. If only I tell you my name. My name is Sato. Sato Nazu Nazutame. It's just an ordinary person who is neither great looking nor lacking. I mean, he's, he's kind of nice looking. Everybody longs to be in Hope Speak Academy. I want to enter AB40. Wait, what? It's just A18 when I-C3, B13B, and F55, B... Bath! What bath? <laughs> oh. Yeah, there is a little bit of voice acting. I heard that in an instant, as if my conscience was turned off with a switch. Everything I see was turned off in an instant. As if I just... As if nothing ever existed. Hey, want to play some video games? I know I do. I haven't seen the sun in years. <laughs> hey. literally, y'all are killing me with this, bro. It happens every time. The freaking ads. <laughs> it happened with the re-rocky restarts too, yeah. <laughs> y'all killing me. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> da, 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 da. A whirl in a state of conscious, but dizzy and hazy. That was so smooth. It was. It just popped up. The world is shaking in front of me. I literally thought it was part of the. <laughs> I thought it was part of the game. I find, I feel my body sits to slowly returning. Motion sickness, dizziness, and nausea. The flow of blood and the sensation of my body. I feel my body more strongly now. Don't worry, guys. We're pro streamers. Everything's under control. Don't worry about the ads. Oh, what the heck? Heartbeat intensifies. What's going on? What? Hey, this is cool! It's RPG Maker. That was the first word that came out of my mouth when I woke up. I love RPG Maker games. I feel a tingling feeling in my head. Then my mind started to return to reality. Barely knowing what was happening at all, the first thing I did was... I wish more fan games used RPG Maker. Look around. Huh? Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm in the way. Sorry. I didn't think I was going to be in the way. What? Where is it? Where even is this place? Yeah, I moved myself. A place where I gained consciousness and opened my eyes. A completely unfamiliar place. Not my room. Where I was before. That means that someone must have brought me here. What's up, Camille? How you been? It might be too early to know that it's a kidnapping. Misa was great. That game is amazing. Doesn't matter the fact that my eyes aren't covered or my hands and feet aren't tied up. I wish I didn't stream that so long ago. Anyways, what even is this place? Is this a classroom? So this place is somewhere in a school? I should probably investigate this room. I'm getting corpse party vibes Same. Hey there, it's tutorial time. Objects with bulbs above them are key investigation items. Approach them and investigate your surroundings. Z key equals investigate key. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, you can run and stuff. That See, this would be so cool to play. I would love this. Yes, I want chapter one. Please, Ephraim, send that to me, please. I need this. This automatically looks amazing. Tutorial chance here. Should I make Monster Romp Rompa High Skull or RPG game? Is that Monster High? <laughs> I'm still waiting on my Monster High <laughs> crossover. A note seemingly placed on the floor as if screaming to pick me up. A random note. Did someone place it here? Muttering, I leaned over and picked up the note. Welcome to Host Peak Academy. Of course. Host Peak Academy? There's a note from Host Speak Academy in this classroom. Yeah, we, we we understand that. How many times are you gonna tell us that? This is an obvious joke. Monster High Rampa, please. I need that. Please. 
I'm glad I got my Total Drama Island one. We're going to check that one out in the near future. I can't wait to check that one out. A four character idiom that seems to be a class motto. Looks to be written sloppily, like it's talking to me. Okay. Vandalism is strictly prohibited. Seems like something that doesn't need to be said. I feel like they're just shoving it in my face. What will the Monokuma look like? It's probably going to be regular Monokuma, right? More than likely. There's a gun hanging in the corner of the classroom. Is the gun a fake? Uh-oh. A school and a gun? What a weird combination. I like Total Drama 1 through 4. Seasons 1 through 4 are amazing. Obviously, my favorites are the first two seasons, but yeah. 1 through 4 is really good. An iron plate? Someone blocked the window with an iron plate? This looks like it would be almost impossible to take off without professionals. That means I can't look outside at all. Nope. You're trapped. Monster High is my childhood. I still have all the films. Yep, yeah, that... I love you, Owo. Something looks suspicious in that CCTV. Probably installed in every classroom for simple surveillance. I don't think it's useful for anything. Nope. It seems like I've looked around the whole room. Summing up what I found so far. With a note I found. In it, Hoat's Peak Academy was mentioned. But I can't fully trust it because it's just a small note. There's a gun installed in the corner of the room. It seems like a joke, so I just think that it's a prop. You think that's a prop? Okay. But there's a chance that it's not a joke. Uh-oh, sweating. Also, the camera seems like something normal. It could be something to monitor us. So the camera isn't a big deal at all. But the most suspicious thing in the room is the iron plate covering the window. Hold on, wait, whoa, pause. The most suspicious thing in this room is the iron plates covering the window, but the gun is just the prop? Okay. <laughs> it makes it impossible to look outside. It could be used to keep me from escaping. Together, the suspiciousness of the iron plate, the camera, and the gun is way too big to be overlooked. Maybe they can explain some parts of this, such as this prison-like appearance of the room. They all add up to the feeling of the room. This has to be more than a simple kidnapping. Ah, uh, yes. Gun is less sus than windows, of course. I should probably walk out of here to see what else I can find out. Gun is not sus. I know, right? High school student logic. <laughs> that logic, though. The plate is so thick. Yeah. You gotta love those thick plates. Are you looking at them again? To see if the dialogue changes or something. Claudine, the gay queen, deserves to live. She does. Go meet the classmates. When I exited the classroom, the first thing I saw, a uh, creepy hallway with eerie lighting throughout it. Sweet. This hallway feels quite creepy. Perhaps it's due to the lighting or, or spooky in a way that a school hallway is all without the... Whoa, 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 whoa go back. Is with all of the lights off. Yeah. Fortunately, there seems to be no one around. Let's see if there is a way out. This looks cool, though. This looks cool. I love seeing Hope's Peak in RPG Maker. This looks awesome. You can spam Z on objects to see. Thanks for listening. Oh, thanks for telling us. Purple is a sussy color. A classroom similar to the one I woke up in. But it all looks a bit different than the other one. This room also has iron plates instead of windows. I don't think there's much to look at in this room. I have no game making skills, so if I ever finish my fan game, I'm making it as a slideshow and then uploading it to Instagram. Sounds good. This doesn't seem like the way out. Nope. Gotta go back. Can't wait to see the main cast in RPG Maker form. Yeah, yeah! Seeing the sprites for them is gonna be really cool. Imagine if you got combat in this game, like if it's an actual like RPG. Oh, there's Yoko! Ah, someone's over there. Look at her sprite. There's about to be an ad. No, dang it. It's an impact. Let's go. <laughs> it. They saw me. They're coming. What should I do? Huh? Are you the last student? They said there was one more. Are you them? She has no vigilance. She just came up to me and asked who I was. From the look of her, it seems like she was waiting for me. M me? I was a bit embarrassed to ask. What? Are you scared or something? 
Oh, no, that's... I just mean... Wow, you're so stupid. You're late, so just follow me. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Where are you taking me? Oh, you keep asking questions. Although he keeps stepping back. Because of you, the entrance ceremony keeps getting delayed. Listen, we aren't that far away. Will you just come with me? Anyways, let's go to the gym. Everyone else is there already. Hmm? What are they talking about? Am I late? Is there an entrance ceremony? Wait, hold on. Is... Is Hiyoko going to be, like, the partner character in this? Because that would be kind of cool. But should I follow her now? Is this if she knows me? I don't feel any suspicion thrown at me. Rather the attitude of a new friend. Of course, there is some malice. Nah. Hey! Huh? What's eh? Didn't you hear me tell you to go faster? The gym we're going to is on the left. So hurry up and let's go. Partner Hyoko would be um, interesting. I know that if she's a sidekick character, I'm going, I'm going nuts. In the end, I got caught up in this. Should I go to the gym? I don't know. Now that I think about it, what's the use? For now, I should just go with this girl. It's locked for some reason. First companion character usually spells first victim. No, don't say that. The store is locked too. Yoko, I think you dropped this. You gave Yoko a crown? <laughs> Hold up. I said the gym was on the left, right? That's the entrance hall. Oh, dang. Okay. Hold on. Slow down. Chill out. Let's see what Zephyrim just said. I guess the part in that will bully you across the game. That would be cool. I truly detest Yoko. I'm not that type of masochist and my patients won't survive it. An iron gate is blocking my entrance, of course. That or someone who dies in chapter 5. Uh, I hope she lasts that long. That'd be nice. Ew. It takes a long time to take the dummy here. Dummy? Huh? You sound like the nickname I gave you. Then I'll call you a newbie. Okay, that makes it all better. Now I'm in the way of her. I'm going to put myself up here. I think it's coming from all, uh, all over the country. Wait, what? Go back? You don't like the nickname I gave you? Then I'll call you a newbie. Okay, I remember this. Da -da 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 -da. By the way, at Hostbeak Academy, there are many trophies awarded. I think it's coming from all over the country. I really don't know if this is okay. Wait a minute. Hope's Peak Academy? Now, stop fooling around and open that door quickly. Hurry, because you're nagging me. What came from her mouth? Hope's Peak Academy. That's what she said. I thought it couldn't be because of the school atmosphere, but... Rather, school with this vibe. Host Week Academy. Is that what she's saying? Is this a school where only the best students from all over the country gather? What's up, Isaiah? How you been? Dang. I have no idea. Maybe it's better to pay attention to the gym. Yeah, go to the gym. They want Blaze to read their request? Ooh. If it's the same person that keeps saying the witching hour and sorrow... I've seen it like a thousand times, and I told you, <laughs> I'll check them out. Dot, 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 dot. To be honest, I don't want to go in, but I can't turn back now. If I just go in, whatever happens, I have no idea. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, I'm, I want to see who the cast is. Let me see. I was very nervous. Okay, I opened the door to the gym and stepped inside. But... Contrary to my worries, the scene in front of me, there was a group of people around the same age as me. Jim. Whoa! Hey, hold up, hold up! We got the hey, hey, that's my favorite song! Well, hold on, who we got here? I see Saika, Mikan, Mahiru, Kazuichi, let's go! Ibuki's here, Kiyotaka, Celeste, Gundam, Leon, Chihiro! Sonya, Nekamaru? Well, countless eyes are focused on me all at once. I think I saw Mondo off to the side. I think I saw his hair like slightly. Because of that, I cringed a lot without realizing it. Oh, Terra Terra's here? <laughs> hey, is this my boy's redemption arc? Hey, y'all better put some respect on my man's name right here. You see this man? You see this man? Put some respect on his name. Okay, Teru Teru. Remember that name. 
and their disapproving expressions as if they had only realized it now. So they know this person? As if their appearance is a sign of the new semester. They're like ordinary students who are full of worries and expectations. Let's go. I like this cast, bro. This is A. Guys, I brought Big Brother here. Brother? I see. This guy must be our last freshman. Big Brother? Appearing later than Ibuki. You're done. Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait, 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 I'm turning up the volume for you guys, okay? Here, listen. <laughs> wait, what did Ibuki say? Hold on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what in the world? I was getting tired of waiting, but now you finally showed up. I love that. How dare you make this body wait? <laughs> I guess you don't have one life. Can't believe you're late for the entrance ceremony. I cannot forgive that behavior. You okay, girl? <laughs> don't go overboard just because it's your first day. Ibuki knows it. <laughs> <It's some laughs> she sounded like a bird, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm crying. What the? What are they talking about? <laughs> Don't tell me. Could they be saying that I am a Host Peak Academy freshman? <laughs> the person who was late was, you look like you don't know anything. Did you get the time of the entrance ceremony wrong? <laughs> that can't be it. This is Host Peak Academy's entrance ceremony, not just some random place. It could happen if it was brother. By the way, I'm not very lucky either. I lost rock, paper, scissors, and I had to go find you. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but can you explain what's going on? I don't get it. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Why do they keep calling him brother? Well, to summarize what is happening now. On the day of the freshman entrance ceremony, we were supposed to gather at the gym by 8 o'clock. You didn't show for more than 30 minutes. I'm dying laughing. At the freshman entrance ceremony. Is she saying that I was late? Dude, I need that as a sound bite, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I start a video, or, or, <laughs> we walk in the club like, or, or. <laughs> you ain't part of the squad unless you, or, or. <laughs> oh my God. Are they seriously mistaking me for a freshman at this school? Al Buki? <laughs> That's also, there's a freshman of Host Peak Academy. Please, please. Why are they mistaking me for a freshman? <laughs> There must have been a mistake. Why did I lose conscience in the first place? Why did I wake up here? I don't understand anything from start to finish. What's the reason why I lost conscience? What's the reason for waking up here? And the reason for me being... I don't get it! My head! A host speak Academy freshman. Psh, isn't this just a waste of time because of this stupid guy? Alright, I'm done napping. Why were you sleeping? Hey, I think everyone's misunderstanding something. I'm new here. You're not trying to... You're not trying to joke that you're not a student here, are you, Sato? How do you know my name? That, that is, a list of freshmen came up on the bulletin board. You're the ultimate lucky student, it said. Why? Ah, I was hoping he would be something else. Ultimate lucky student? Did you not know? Every year a lottery is held to choose the ultimate lucky student. There is, was revealed that Sato had won. But Sato... You were never informed, it seems. But whether or not you won the lottery and became the ultimate lucky student. Oh, there's that's there's very little information known, so you may not know. I wonder, uh, I wonder if they know Nagito. I wonder if they're gonna bring up Nagito. Or Nayagi. And be like, yeah, you were just like them. That'd be interesting. I have been chosen as the ultimate lucky student. Hey, Zephyrum's getting the ad revenue today, baby. It was also posted on the Host Peak Academy bulletin board without me knowing. So Host Peak Academy chose me as ultimate lucky student because I won the semester. Wait, so was I kidnapped? Could it be a surprise event from the Academy? I prepared a wonderful surprise. Okay. In that sense, I'm a surprise for Sato. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to give you a chance to pet my gro- <laughs> Time out! 
Wait, what? What's good? <laughs> Hold on, Teru Teru. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that today. I was speechless and just stood there blankly. I'm a freshman at Host Peak Academy? Also became the ultimate lucky student. I've lived in a normal life so far. It was only natural. It was hard to accept. Time out, Teru. Let's go. Time out. Sheesh. Yay. We're all here now. <laughs> Look at all their sprites. Yo, those sprites are clean. Look at all of them. The 2D greatness, bro. Hey, these sprites are better than the ones in uh... <laughs> Dongarapa S. Look at Mekons. Mekons looks really cool. Cool. Dude, this does give me like, uh, you remember Corpse Party? Like the early ver versions of Corpse Party before they did like the, the remaster? That's what these sprites look like. This reminds me a lot of SDRA 2, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> now it's my turn to step up. Good guys. Did you all hear the announcement that the entrance ceremony will begin once everyone gathers? So let's report the completion of the assembly to the teacher. So as our representative, I will go. Since when have you been our representative? In the meantime, you guys should introduce yourselves. Um, a little while ago when we tried to do that, didn't you say no? That's because we were missing one. It's a waste of time to introduce yourself twice because of one person. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Then I'll give you a brief report. Allow me to introduce myself. Kiyotaka. Bye, kitty. Is this their, like, uh... Is this their Japanese voices? Ultimate Moral Compass. Now, you all use this time to introduce yourselves. I want Ibuki to pop up. Ur, ur. <laughs> <It's your mar> <laughs> I want I want Ibuki to just say that, that line over and over again. I want her to just make those bird noises. And it's just like everybody's trying to translate what she says. As Ishimaru said, shall we introduce ourselves? I mean, do I really have to do something so annoying? You can't go on without knowing the other person's name. Is there JP lines? Yeah. If you like it, should I call it that side? I only know because I played Danganronpa 1 in Japanese. When did I say no? I just said I'm lazy, annoying woman. It's been a long time since I introduced myself in the human world. <laughs> then let's slowly open the sealed Pulse Homus. Title of this body. Looks like it's time for introductions. Okay, yep. Mm. It's not good to stand out here anyways. I still don't know what's going on. Now that I'm mixing this crowd, I just need to act naturally. The Uru Uru shall be the new subscribe SFX for Blaze now? For real, dude. Honestly. Did you know Albuki will be added to a top boyfriend at CLC in the near future? <laughs> what? Introductions? Name's Mondo Wada. I'm counting on you. Dude, his voice sounds like he was in the Yakuza games, bro. Ah, yeah, me too. That's it? Then go. It's best to avoid this guy. If I rub him the wrong way, it could cause trouble. What's your favorite SDRE 1 character? Are you asking Zephram that? What's up, Pineapple? Hey! Oh, hello! It's a face I haven't seen before. I mean... I'm... Yeah! Literally the best character ever! Hello? Why are you so down? The shape of your face is like the tongue of a drooling dog. But for now, hold on to your worries! <laughs> a charming Ibuki is right next to you. You say that comment so casually. <laughs> That's the charm of Ibuki! But don't be too into it, because I'm a girl who never looks back. Do you understand, human? I don't know. Oh, you are being shy. I love this. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. What is dangerous? Hey, Pookie. I'm so hungry. I'll just take a bite out of your arm. No. Uh, uh, did you just bite me? That's why I warned you in advance. Did you warn me? Her energy is really overflowing to the point where it's chaotic. Yo, they wrote her so well. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, the writing for her is so good. Okay, it seems like they got Sayaka on point. I feel like Sayaka is going to be really good 
in this. I'm the leader of a five-member idol group. By the way, you're the ultimate lucky student. That's a great title. I'm so jealous of you. But you just found that out a little while ago. I can't imagine how upset you must have been. If it were me, I would have been shocked and confused. Even if it was a surprise event, I don't think this is normal. I'm still not sure. It happened in a blink of an eye. I sympathize with your feelings, Sato. Still, Sato, you should be strong from now on. You are a student of Hostpeak Academy. Your future will be bright. So don't worry, just relax. Wow, she's pretty. Must be because she's the ultimate idol. It's like she's a doll. Yep, she, she has that effect. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, because I'm psychic. Ah! Psychic. I'm just joking. It's just intuition. Hey, what's up, Hope Tactic? Intuition? This is a frighteningly sharp intuition. Hold on, let's pause for a second. Okay. Straight off the bat, who do y'all think's dying first? Let's be honest. Y'all think y'all think Sayak is actually gonna last? I doubt it. I doubt it. Yo, Yo you're the ultimate lucky student, Sato, right? Let's be friends, Sato. Let me have some of your luck. Even if I take all of it, you can't say anything. Mondo is dead. Leon, Mahiru, Teruteru. Sayaka or Chihiro, possibly. Come to think of it, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Kazuichi Soda. My talent is ultimate mechanic. I feel Sonya's gonna die first, not gonna lie. If you have a broken machine, can you just leave it to me? Because once it goes through my hands, it'll be good as new. Yeah, I feel that. Yoko, I think. But... You didn't even know you were chosen as the ultimate lucky student. No matter how you think about it, it isn't... Strange? You're not the only one who thinks so. Still, it's not to the point that it confuses you, right? Well, the protagonist is an OC, but everyone else is a canon character? Exactly. If you think about it as a surprise event, then that could explain it. Oh, but I'm not sure. Your name was on the bulletin board, but you never saw it. I didn't see any posts like that before I lost consciousness. Well, even if I did lose consciousness anyway. The answer I got is, it's a surprise event. Every time I do introductions, I'm always nervous when doing one. Let's go! The best character in the game, next to Ibuki. I know that my dad works in security, so I became interested in computers because of that. So I studied data structures, code syntax, and algorithms. At one point, the title of Ultimate came up. I still have a long way to go. I get so embarrassed when all the attention is on me. I don't really like all the attention I get when I launch a new program. It's that bad I even created an alter ego to do the interviews for me. Aww, poor Chihiro. Such a timid personality. I need to fix it soon. Oh, I'm sorry. I talk too much about myself, right? Could it be? Are you mad at me? No! Oh no, all you did was introduce yourself. That's normal. That's right. I'm sorry. I suddenly ruined the mood. You don't have to apologize. By the way, I was chosen as the ultimate lucky student. Was it you who said it was on a, a bulletin board? Uh, yeah, it was me. But why? Do you know what the post said? Um, the contents of what the post said? It said Sato was chosen as the ultimate lucky student. That's all the information it said. So it didn't explain the process of the background of the lottery. And that was the only thing written on it, right? Come to think of it, that's very strange. In our case, our story or minor information was written in detail. Sato, you were chosen by luck. Doesn't that mean that the school was being nice? Are they trying to give a chance to get closer by asking stuff about each other? Is that it? Well, I'll find out about that later. Even if it bothers me, let's focus on introductions. Danganronpa Crocs. I can tell this guy is kind hearted, so don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, who's the next five? Celestia! Let's go! Not to be confused with Mahiru's friend. Huh? Introduce myself. 
It's not that difficult. The ultimate cook! <laughs> cook! Wait, you could call me the ultimate chef. It has a more sophisticated feel to it, doesn't it? Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen. Gordon Ramsay said, what the f*** is Twitch? <laughs> Alright, I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I think all of our classmates are pretty and handsome. What are you looking forward to the school year? Of course, my preferences are open. You're always welcome to. Jeez, you're too open. By the way, everyone is dressed warmly. It would have been nice if they were much more cooler. But there are plenty of opportunities. Wait, what is happening? In that sense, why don't you make a plan with me? Now, what plan? Let's find out everyone's underwear color. Stop it. Get some help. Come on. You raised your hand saying you wanted to do my tail too. What? What does that even mean? What do you think? If you like it, can you show us your opinion? Of course, with the tail. Wait, what? Can we ban him? Don't stick to me. Oh no. Is it a failure? But I have a lot of opportunities. This guy, in other sense, is really dangerous. Bro, he's gonna do something weird, bro. Uh, um, oh, I love Mikan. Well, I mean, that's... I love her Japanese voice. It's fantastic. Um, I'll be in your care from now on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be in your care as well. <laughs> Aw. Ah, I'm so sorry for suddenly laughing alone. It was just... I was just thinking that we are now friends. Aw. You never said you'd be friends with me, right? I'm sorry. I went overboard. Aw. Oh, no, it's not like that. So don't worry. So we're friends, right? That's a relief. Bro, there's a lot of moaning going on. I'm sorry, y'all. There is a lot of moaning. Wow. You're so kind, Sato. It's the first time someone treats me so nicely in a while. In a while? That is how people treat me. I endure insults and bullying. Sad life. So Sato's hospitality, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. I will never forget it. Oh, okay. What kind of life has Mikan lived? I'm a little worried. No, very worried. Still, there should be no bullying here, right? Hey, so... Go crawl around and oink like a pig. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Who said it was your fault? I told you to crawl around and oink like a pig. Then will you forgive me? No. What? Then what can I do for you so you can forgive me? If you let me finger flick you. I almost said, how is this close to saying something else there? <laughs> Yo. If you let me finger flick you, I'll forgive you. Come here. Yo, I, I was stressed out. Oh, are you talking about getting flicked game? Good. What? Mikan followed the short girl. I wonder if that really is a game. I, yo, I sweated bullets trying to read that, bro. I'm sorry. Introductions? It's a pleasure to meet you. Please head out of the gutter. I'm trying. I am trying. I'd appreciate it if you could call me Celeste. Celeste? Oh, are you a foreigner? Why ask all of a sudden? Oh, that's because of your name. So, what's your real name? <laughs> My name is Celestia Lundenberg. You may call me Celeste. Oh, I don't get it. What could you have said? Don't, don't worry about it. Her smile is as she's wearing a mask. It would be hard to read her expression. If I ask her one more time for what is her real name, I don't think I can do it. Ultimate lucky student. Such a talent would shine in gambling. Yes, it would. If you team up with me, won't we win any game? That, well, it's just a title. Don't think of it as simply a title with a name. The difference in luck from person to person is too big to ignore. Don't feel bad, Blurries. I just blurred out tons of willy words. Willy words or silly words? I feel you, though. The reason Sato was chosen as the ultimate lucky student is because you are very lucky. So, even with the title of Ultimate Lucky Student, it must have a power that is difficult to describe in. Do you guys know that Celeste's name isn't Celeste's name? When I hear it like that, I don't think that's completely wrong. 
Come to think of it like this, I'm facing Sato, who is the ultimate lucky student. I think I was lucky too. Does it mean that we're inevitable to meet like this? Well, I don't know. After all, I'm looking forward to the future. To the relationship between Sato and me. Uh, yeah. I feel like I'm hiding something inside. Okay, just making sure. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Because there's a lot of people that haven't really played the games that still watch my videos, so... Just making sure, if you guys know or not. It's Sonia! I came from the Novoselic Republic as an exchange student. It hasn't been long since I arrived in this country. I'm worried that I will cause you all a lot of trouble. Yeah, you will. You are the queen of a country? Did you get an offer to enter Hostpeak Academy? Who likes Sonia? Be honest. I only ever lived in my homeland, so I lack knowledge. That's more is that I... What's more is that I don't have a single friend with... The same taste as me. I'm loving the writing in this. So, let's be good friends. Sato is also my... You'll be my boyfriend, right? What? Well, Kazuichi, I swear, we did nothing. You probably mean best friend, not boyfriend. Best friend, okay. Just making sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still not accustomed to this country's language. Well, Sonya is a foreigner. By the way, she's very pretty. Must be because she's royalty. White jade-like skin, hair that glistens like sand by the beach. Anyway, I'm a student like you here. Please feel free to treat me like a regular student. By the way, you are very lucky, Sato. You were chosen from the lottery as the ultimate lucky student. Well, I don't really feel it yet. That's right. You came here without even knowing the reason. Still, as time passes, today's events will remain more than a surprise event. So cheer up. Why, there is such a saying. It's a bummer. You've just told me that this is a sham. Yes, no, is that what it means? Sorry, I must have misunderstood the meaning. Someone told me to use that phrase at times like this. It is common that people sometimes trick foreigners. That is true. Hmm, da 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 da. But the anxiety that's left in the corner of my heart, this uncomfortable feeling can't be helped. I still can't tell if this is a dream or reality. Gundam. Oh, the reason why I said Kazuichi about Sonya is because you know how he really likes Sonya. You know? He did simps for her. Eh, it looks like a human being. I'll give you a piece of advice. It would be better not to approach me any further. I like how Gundam and Sonya are right next to each other. In the line. I see what you did there. What? Why all of a sudden? In the end, you ignored my warning and stepped into my territory. You are a very foolish human. However, your courage moved my heart. Do you want to know the name of this body? <laughs> my body! Yeah, I was thinking of Bohemian Rhapsody too. I didn't want to say it. Ultimate Breeder. Now look carefully. These are the four Dark Davids of Destruction. The gods of destruction that belong to the Tanaka Empire. This guy... Is he being serious? Yes. Wow, so cute. <laughs> if you don't mind, can I touch it? Or you won? Don't come, don't come closer than that, female cat. You might get hurt by the barriers around me. Female cat? The hamsters must be sensitive. Female cat? <laughs> did, did he let her near them? Then I'll excuse myself. I'll let you two keep talking. Oh, yeah. Then it's my turn now. Now I must ask, what spirit are you the master of? What? Answer me! What kind of contract did you make? Could he be talking about pets? If you're saying raising pets and keeping animals is the same, you're completely mistaken. What? Have you ever seen such a trivial seed? What do you mean trivial? Then call trivial things trivial. What would you call it? <laughs> what? Something's wrong with him. I'd rather not get involved as much as possible. 
Are you good? <laughs> hey, Gundam. Are you good? I'll introduce myself to these last four people. Like, are you actually good? Yoko! Cats are awesome, so I can see Sayaka being a cat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was... Why should you keep calling me a big brother? Well, it might not be a mistake. If you get on your hands and feet, I'll make you my slave. Mm-hmm. Hey, I can hear everything. I guess you heard that again. It's amazing to hear that again. <sighs> Absolutely not. I I'm just not feeling it. Hiyoko, why are you doing this to us, bro? I thought it was an innuendo for puss. Oh, I almost said the word. Let's get along. Well, slave. No, my friend. Cat girls are ruining my life featuring Sayaka Maizono. <laughs> Please don't do that on purpose. I did it because I wanted to. Why? At least you're honest. Well, if you work for me, I might treat you differently. So let's go ahead and do it. Don't be late. I'm not like that, Hiyoko. I'm sorry. Like, stop. It's been a big deal since we first met. I'll just have to get the beat right for the yellow one. I mean, in Hyoko's FT, she thinks that there's talented people and they're slaves. True. <laughs> hmm. Come to think of it, we haven't met yet. We haven't done introductions yet. Then listen carefully with both ears. No, I only use one, actually. Just letting you know. The team manager! Got it? It's Nekomaru Nihai, the ultimate team manager! Do you got it? It's Nekomaru Nihai! Okay, you don't have to stress it that much. Shut the f*** up! Is that so? <laughs> Although your body is very thin. In that sense. As a classmate, we'll be one of you in the future. I'll give you some training! Rawr, God! As long as I'm supporting you, there's nothing to worry about! <laughs> I, I never said I would. I can barely even hear you because your voice is so small. Sato, gather the strength of your stomach and shout with all of your might! If you are a man, then act like one! <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll do it later. I can't make you do it, because you seem shy. But that could be fixed with training. Ultimate team manager. Seeing that he's trying to support me with incredible energy, as expected of the ultimate team manager. By the way, his voice is really strong and so is his body. Hmm. Need me a Nekamaru? Oh yeah. Yell at me, daddy. <laughs> ultimate baseball player! It's Leon. Leon's here. By the way, no one recognizes me. I grew up my hair a little, and I didn't know anyone would recognize it. <laughs> oh, and what about you? <laughs> yeah, that's because players are forced to get shaved. But now I'm going to grow it out. Oh, that sounds cool. That's not what that's not what you meant? I'm sorry. That's why no one recognized me. Well, it's convenient, though. Uh Oh, I don't know. I'm going to quit baseball anyway. You're going to quit, too? So what do you want to do? Actually, I want to be a musician, of course. <laughs> Isn't it so cool? I'm gonna be even more popular. Of course, baseball is also very popular, but it's a different story for the main character on stage. <laughs> By the way, did you hear? I heard there's a musician here. We gotta be nice. So you're going to give up baseball because of that? What are you doing? If I can't do it after becoming a musician. I can go back to baseball. Why are you taking it so seriously? Bro, what if your skills get rusty? Huh? Rusty? Me? I don't get rusty. I never really learned baseball anyway, so I won't get rusty. That's... I think I was born with baseball. 11037. <laughs> Ever since I started playing baseball, I had the skills of a professional pitcher. So it doesn't matter. I want to feel the spirit of a musician. Hey, Miota! That's a good pairing, yo. That is such a good pairing. I love that. A baseball prodigy. Even a genius. He doesn't seem to enjoy his talent. But to quit baseball like that and become a musician? Professional baseball players all over the world would... Cry. <laughs> By the way, when Rappa and Friends rerun continuation, I have no idea. Empire's still uh, working on it. Hey, you're the one who arrived late, right? You barely even have a serious expression. Oh, chill out. Are you going to be that stiff when introducing yourself? 
Chill out, mom. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. As long as you understand. I'm sorry, but you've already been branded as an unreliable man. What is... The way I look at you right now, I see a lot of negative things and it will be hard to change my view. What? What's happening? Okay. First, loosen up that face. Yo, red hair freckles. What's your name? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I'm just kidding. So what's your name? I haven't finished introducing myself with him, right? So hurry up and go somewhere else. And it's rude to call a woman freckles. She has been nagging me ever since the first meeting. <laughs> anyway, why is he so rude when we when he, when we first met? A little bit of nagging at the beginning. Ugh. So where was I? Oh, that's right. I have introduced myself. Mama spilling facts? Hold up. I like how she's written so far. It's kind of cool. It's got some personality to her. By the way, the kid who went to call the teacher earlier, why didn't you come like this? Since it's been a while, I was thinking about taking a group photo. No way! What? Did he fall down on the way back? Ooh. What, where, when, why? Da -da -da, da -da -da. What is that expression? It's still one of the possibilities. Not really. I don't have an expression. I can see it's all over your face. Ah, was it obvious? Huh. It was obvious. This is why I don't like boys. Spitting out words without thinking. I'll take back what I said earlier. From unreliable to not at all. Not at all reliable? Okay, you understood it well. Why do you treat me like this? I'm a unsub and resub? Why? <laughs> I hope Mahiru survives. Yeah, I hope she lasts a while. I feel like she's one of those characters that... Definitely deserves it. You decided to wait for the entrance ceremony to begin. Is it just going to be regular Monokuma or is it going to be like something cool like a Monokuma T-Rex? Ah. Why hasn't Kiyotaka come back from his findings? Ah, no. Also, the entrance ceremony seems delayed. The surrounding in the area is too quiet. Sheesh, aside from that, what on earth is the staff doing? It's just annoying to keep waiting. So they don't remember them being in a killing game prior to this. Interesting. Ah, if it's delayed, it should have given us a broadcast that it's going to be delayed. So does that mean that their previous killing games never happened? Something cool will happen before Monokuma? Another 10 minutes have passed. Another 30 minutes passed. Yet there were no announcements or further instructions. Wait, what? The air around the gym grew heavier and heavier. What's going on here? And our facial expressions were getting tired. Hey, thank you guys for all the subscribers and such. I see that hitting the screen. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing, beautiful people. It's been one hour already. This is kind of weird. Why does the entrance ceremony start? Besides, Kiyotaka is still in the dark. We just can't wait here forever. But that's what you mentioned to Ibuki. That this was a surprise event. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and the outcome that Kiyotaka doesn't come back, I don't think we should stay here any longer. Mm. On the contrary, I'm getting scared because nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. I wonder what happened to Kiyotaka. <laughs> Isn't he just lost? <laughs> it doesn't seem like a school with a complex structure enough to get lost. <laughs> I kind of got lost too. Yeah, but you're a dumbass. <laughs> Did something happen to him? It's strange. Kiyotaka hasn't come back for over an hour now. What's going on with this? Then were they kidnapped? Kidnapped? What's this kidnapping all of a sudden? Isn't it really a kidnapping event? We've become detectives looking for clues. <laughs> At the entrance ceremony? I think they went too far with kidnapping. But it was a nice try. You made my shoulders tingle. You guys, does the situation look like a joke now? Yo, Blaze got no chill. Not with her. Get some serious sh together, you idiots. Apologies. I watched a lot of kidnapping dramas, so I spoke out without knowing. Those who become princesses each are more naive than you think. Anyways, the reason why Kiyotaka hasn't been seen, isn't it simply because an accident has occurred? Accident? Are you saying Kiyotaka's in trouble? If that's true, shouldn't we spread and search for him? 
but we don't even know what happened. I don't think it would be a good idea to disband like this. Ugh, so annoying. What the hell is that guy doing? Anyways, you guys too. You must be feeling a sense of discomfort by now. A sense of discomfort? Discomfort? Because we're the only ones we've seen in this school. I certainly didn't feel the presence of another human being. So it may not be just Kiyotaka who is at risk. It's all of us. Ooh, it's about to get creepy. All of us. We're in a crisis? What are you talking about all of a sudden, girl? So then, answer me. Why are we the only ones in the school? Why hasn't Kiyotaka show up? And why is the entrance ceremony delayed by over an hour? But that's... <sighs> Sheesh. Using my head is not my style. Then what can we do? Shall we get out of school like this? Well, I wonder if we can even get out of the school. Oh, we've been trapped? Aw. Now we're being locked up? Right. Confinement seems too far... Uh, confinement seems too far ahead to guess. Really now? But now that we're talking about it... Let me start by asking what is the current situation. Who are you going to ask? If we go directly to the office... I couldn't utter those words at the end. Because I heard the door open from behind me. Kiyotaka's back! Let's go! Now then, shall we ask? Everyone's eyes were directed at Kiyotaka. He was drenched in sweat and breathing heavily. Kiyotaka! You were alive! What the hell were you doing, dude? Everyone was getting worried. Come over here, mortal. Show us the hell you've been through. But he couldn't answer right away. We looked at him as he continued to catch his breath. Okay. Let's ask Kiyotaka what happened. I'm sorry we're in the middle of the story, but it's tutorial time. We got tutorials here? In the middle of the end story flow, there's a section that needs to be progressed through investigation or talk like right now. If you talk to Kiyotaka, the story will continue immediately. But if you check for objects or other characters... Then you can find out their current opinion through their conversation. That's cool! After finishing this tutorial, the game will resume. That's kind of dope. I like that. <laughs> Kiyotaka, something doesn't look right with his expression. Is something wrong? I'm starting to get a little scared now. You don't think he was imprisoned or something like that? I really don't like that, though. Thought, that thought. No one would like that thought. I think it would be wise to ask Kiyotaka about it. He's tired from running from Monorex? So, yeah. <laughs> He's back all right. So what? There's nothing complicated to think about. You're ruining the mood for nothing, kid. He's been unlucky since the first day. Isn't that right? Eh? It's fine. Whatever, man. Go do your job. Wait, what is he talking about? Hey, so why is the mood like this? It was so nice before, right? I mean, are we really trapped? What Celeste said isn't true, right? Well, maybe it is. Hmm. They said they were capturing people. This is really... Ah, stop it! You were worrying me too. And nagging in between. <laughs> Yo, they're gonna have good chemistry. They're gonna have such great chemistry later. I guess he wasn't lost, although... You might just think that... After all, we're the first to come to the school today. N no, I didn't say anything. All right, let's go ask Kiyotaka. They're gonna have some good chemistry, Leon and Mahiru. So a surprise event after all. I hope it's like that. Ibuki is hoping for that. Well now, let's go ask Kiyotaka. Also, I'm really liking Leon and Mahiru so far, same. Kiyotaka just arrived, so shall we ask now? Hmm. <gasps> Don't get me wrong, this body knows no tension. There is no way that this body that freely handles the four dark days of destruction can stress out. There's no way I can be shocked. Okay. <laughs> what? Please. I hope it's not a big deal. I'm a little worried about him being so nervous. But there's no point in worrying. Come on, let's ask Kiyotaka. Yeah, I like Redemption Rampa. Redemption Rampa is pretty good. 
It starts off pretty, uh, pretty slow. Hey, Sato, ask him quickly what happened. Dang it, please. Let it not be a big deal. Ugh. I'm already regretting it. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, I don't know. If I see anything bad, I'll run right away. Like, the first couple of chapters of Redemption Rampo were kind of shaky. Seeing that he came back safely, it didn't seem like a big deal. Isn't that right? Wouldn't they be okay, Sato? It's okay. It's not a big deal, right, Sato? Tell me nothing will happen. Don't stick to me. Was this event a failure? Failure? What in the world is he saying? I'm glad you're safe. I was so worried. But what happened to be so late? I hope it's not a huge issue. I wish we could ask Kiyotaka. Oh, I didn't mean to say that to Mr. Sato. I was just talking to myself. So please don't hate me. That is such... That is Mikan. That is literally Mikan. <laughs> For once, I'm relieved. I'm really glad Kiyotaka's safe. But it's still too early to be relieved until we know what's going on. There are a lot of unknown killers in this world. The Veiled Genocider Show is a prime example. Oh my god! I haven't heard her called that in a long time. According to Urban Legends, hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives at her hands. If you played the Japanese translation of Danganronpa, uh, the first game, Trigger Happy Havoc, they call her Genocider Show. But then if you play the English version, they call her Genocider Jack. Plus Genocide Jill. Yeah, that one too. And another example is... Why are you so excited when you're talking about killers? But oh my! Now is it the time for this, right? The story will continue later. Let's go ask Kiyotaka. Even continuing, there's something I'm not curious about. Sonia's in her element. She really is. Let's hope things are not so serious. Even if it is serious. Yeah, I know. It's not like the entrance ceremony schedule has changed. Well, I've never heard of Hope Speak Academy. Then you can ask Kiyotaka right away. Nothing will make sense even if we talk to each other. Why do you have to pick your nose? That's gross, dude. There you are, Kiyotaka. Why are you so late? Did something happen? Beep. What? I said... Hey, what are you saying? Speak louder. I said we're trapped! Wrapped. We're stuck? That's what you're saying? That's traumatic. I felt uncomfortable, uncomfortable the whole time I was looking for a teacher. Everywhere I went, the windows were blocked with iron plates and all the roads to the second floor were locked. Uh, so I went to the entrance of the school with fear. There was a huge iron gate that I had never seen before. I tried all sorts of things, but it won't open. Are you saying we can't go out because of the iron gate? Oh, beep. Beep equals trapped. Oh, I got you. Are you saying we really are detained? And it's really like Celeste said. It means everyone is in danger. That's crazy. Was that just a possibility? It is absolutely impossible to escape through the iron gate. I did everything I could for an hour. But to no avail. So what will happen from now on? What about our entrance ceremony? You stupid boy! Now that you think it's the time to care about the entrance ceremony, then I'll report it to the police. You could call the police? Dang it. I don't like this, but I can't help it. No, it's no use, everyone. All the luggage we put down has already disappeared. We can't contact them? This is the worst. What the hell did the, who the hell did this? Well, even if you ask us that, however, there is one organization that can do all the answering. There's only one organization that can do all these things. Do you have any guesses? That would be Hope's Peak Academy. Eh, our school? Of course. If it's the school's doing, it's possible, but it doesn't make sense in the first place. Why would our school put us in custody? Or maybe it was the help of an insider. Or maybe help from the school's officials? It's hard to say that the school, whole school took part in this crime. Even if they meet the requirements, there would be people everywhere who would take part in the crime. Either way, are you saying that Hope Speak Academy is involved? If that's the truth, the purpose of this crime can be expected to some extent. What was the purpose of this crime? They want to experiment with us. Experiment with us? Time to scout. It's 
an impact! I don't play this stupid game! <laughs> I don't. Experiment. What in the world is Celeste saying? Once again, sorry to stop the flow of the story, but it's time for a tutorial. You may already realize, but the UI at the top of the left of the screen points to the current objective. Okay. Sounds good. I have to talk to Celeste. Genshin, leave us alone. I know, right? Me either. <laughs> no, I, I I honestly don't play that game, though. I just remade the Barney theme. Imagine if Grammarly comes up. Please don't. Put some respect on Genshin's name. Hey, bro. Different strokes for different folks. It's an experiment? No way. Were they planning some biological test? I'm not talking about that kind of experiment. I'm glad. I hate being sick. What do you mean glad? This is the worst. I don't play Genshin either, but I don't want to because the character seem. Oh, you want to? The character seem cool? Yeah. Hey, what's the experiment? That's not like a mega bullcrap delusion. I can hear you, Hiyoko. Oh, did you hear me? It's your fault for listening. <laughs> What are you talking about, Celeste? Yeah, the game's really huge. Genshin is huge. It's supposed to be Academy that's locked us up. It can't be. There must be something we missed. Because we're some of the... We are the students of the same school. The school won't, can't commit crimes against students. No, you would think that. The most low-poly Santa TikTok and I've ever seen was this video's ad. <laughs> Dang it! We can't even get help from the police. You know, it's a big deal for bikers to look for the police. You being noisy b Whoa! I'm gonna die! What a baby. You have to be tough. <laughs> I love that! Who's going to die now? I have no intention of dying in a place like this. I won't die in someone's made up sh I won't! Hello, I'm a big fan. What's up, Wolfie? How you been? If it is an experiment, it's being implemented in many ways in my homeland. However, all test subjects were made of vicious criminals who were ruled with the same severe punishment, such as the death penalty. Even so, if what Celeste is saying is true, any group trying to experiment on us deserves punishment. Because we are innocent and good citizens without any sins. That's what you think. I think we're gonna see maybe Akuma. Stupid! How can there be such a thing as an experiment? That is illegal! It's illegal to lock us up, right? Oops. That's right. Then it's not that there's no chance at all. I love this. Same. If this taste is the experiment, I'm confident in it. But it's not that kind of experiment, is it? Ah, a taste experiment is a big issue if it's not food, right? Please save my life. I'll do anything. Please forgive me. I'll even take my clothes off. Stop it. Get some help. Miss Mika, that's not it. Don't do anything that undermines your own values. If that's the case, maybe the other person will like it. No reason to do that because they're undesirable guys. In any case, please don't do anything that's against the human customs laws. Baby, no. Baby, no. Me, God. I'm getting more and more worried. If the less words are true, could it be? But though, hold on, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. The thing that with Mikan just went down, and out of nowhere we get a sex bot. What is happening? Could it be that the, that we will never return home? Such a thing. Please don't tell me it's true. The bot's timing is perfect. I know. Seriously? Dang it. It's an experiment. I'm going to die here. Ah! If anything weird happens, I will run with all my might. Please, man. Where's the X from this closed room? Figure out the puzzle. What do we do in this situation? Is it okay if I slap the guy freaking out here? Uh, are you serious? <laughs> I love this dude. It's an experiment. It reminds me of my laboratory in the past, where blood and rotten smells vibrate. There were chunks of flesh and numerous amount of blood stains. What the heck? Gundam, what is happening? Yes, it was a food laboratory that would 
satisfy the needs of my beasts. Adjusting various combinations and proportions to suit their tastes. I gave birth to my demon compound. What? This is not the time to reminisce. Not like that. Gundam is really sus in this. Ibuki is unable to judge the situation. Isn't this a surprise event from the school? No, Ibuki, it is not. Hey, Celeste. You mentioned an experiment. What did you mean by it? Think about it, everyone. We are supposedly enrolled with an ultimate lucky student. Ultimate lucky student? Unlike us, Mr. Sato was chosen by a lottery. You said that you participated in an entrance ceremony as if you were kidnapped. That's right. That's because Sato said it himself. But that was the surprise event of Hope Speak Academy. Hmm. Huh? Come to think of it, considering the current situation, this wasn't an event, but a carefully planned crime? A planned crime aimed at me? In other words, this is most likely a kind of experiment that targeted us. And that objective is likely to be on collecting data about luck. A objective? Data? How can such an abstract thing be? They created this kidnapping play and a perfect closed room environment to test. You know, this reminds me, I was I was actually watching someone play Zeroscape yesterday, and that's, that quote right there just reminded me of that game. Also, wouldn't they like to make a killing game? A killing game? The moment the word kill comes out of my mouth, suddenly my whole body feels appalled. In an uncertain situation like this, that word is... I couldn't ignore so easily as soon as I heard it. Killing game. Zero Escape is super dope. An experiment in order to collect data about luck? How can Celeste say all of this so casually? Hmm. Hey Celeste, what are you saying all of a sudden? Where did you pick up that weird movie material? Yeah, were you serious saying all that stuff? Is that not the case? It sounded really plausible to me. Uh, not Lucagen, not Lucagen, no. I didn't watch Lucagen's playthrough. Fantastic. You succeeded in scaring the others. In other words, this is most likely not a big deal. Stop escaping reality. I escaping? The unexplained delay of the entrance ceremony and the creation of a closed space environment. Besides, we're the only ones in the school. Yes, like you said, it's not a big deal. Bro, Celeste is the mastermind. Don't trample over my hopes so mercilessly. All right then, Celeste. What should we do now? Oh my, are you asking me? The one who is in the same predicament as you are? You don't even know then? It's just that our current situation relied on simple reasoning until this point. Why is she so smart? Of course, this is a matter of circumstance. It won't matter if I'm wrong. Do you want to set countermeasures by that reasoning? Okay, I'm going to tell you why I like this already, right? This cast of characters is phenomenal. Like, think about it. There are no OP characters in this game. Right? There's no ultimate detectives. None of them. There's no Nagitos. There's no Kokichis to save the freaking trial. These are all just like the worst <laughs> These are literally the characters that, for the most part, really didn't do much in the trials at all, right? So now here they are having to basically do this again. So it's like, who's going to be the smart ones? Who's going to be the dumb ones still? You know what I mean? I like that. That's cool. I, I, I was so tired of seeing... You know, some of these ones that bring back the old characters and they like bring back the OP ones and the OP ones just they just carry the trials like they did in the original series. And it's like, no, give me the worst characters that didn't do crap. Like Hagakere should be here, bro. Hagakere should be here right now. I want Hagakere back. <laughs> he needs to redeem himself. I'm into it. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. What's up, Eris? How have you been? Um, somebody had said something. Kurt Ritchie? Yeah, it was Kurt Ritchie. I was in a Kurt Ritchie stream last night. Uh, I watched him for like eight hours. <laughs> he was playing uh, 999. It was a good game. Uh, so now she tells us what to do. You have to follow. What? You must follow and obey the perpetrator's instructions. Yeah, they do have Chihiro, but Chihiro didn't like carry the first class trial though. Because that way it won't cause more anger than necessary. The, the culprit you say? We are going to obey them? In the end, you mean not do anything? All that's left is to pray. Well, what did we get involved into? Uh-oh. 
it seems. We were caught up in someone's trap on either side. The only thing we can do is just obey and follow no matter the circumstance. But still, the strangest thing is Celeste's expression. How can she stay calm at times like this? Who is the dumbest character in your opinion? Like in the whole entire series or in this uh, fan game? As the ultimate gambler, is it because it's the talent that assumes even the worst possibilities? Or the, uh, or the identity of the person who created the situation is... Hmm. We stand Monokuma in this house, true. At present, such a girl is suspicious from every angle. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. You know, even... even. Uh, I'm not going to bring that, that fan again up. Never mind. Who do you think will help carry the trials? Probably characters like Celeste and... Maybe Chihiro will have some actual development and Chihiro will be like more confident in this one, you know? That'd be really nice. How can she stay calm? If I know Celestia and I do, she is not calm. True. We have to set the situation to follow obediently. I would never do that. That's the only thing my pride won't allow. The light of justice only goes straight. However, when it comes into contact with water, the light retracts or refracts from it. The only thing I know, it goes straight. It may be the darkness within me. <laughs> there are a lot of things I want to object to. <laughs> oh, you just have to talk to six random people? <laughs> Ibuki doesn't even know! Hey, now's not the time to make bubbles like a dog. Mayday! Send me home! <laughs> No shot all of a sudden. You surprised me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What nonsense is this? There is still the way to fight with all of your what? There's still a way to fight with all of your might. Yeah, but our power isn't that strong either. Unless we give up before it's too late. Say something that makes some god sense. I see. Only a wise man picks the right words. I'll show you the power of the ultimate manager. Straight hair, straight A's, straightforward. <laughs> There's no place to retreat. If a world of weak flesh and flesh unfolds in which the weak are bitten alive by the strong. What? I think it will be an <laughs> advantageous fight for this body who's accustomed to the world of survival of the fittest. But I have to protect you guys as well. This man is speaking in poems and riddles. A fight to protect is more disadvant uh, disadvantageous than a fight to take on. But I shall not back down. Does that mean you're going to fight your opponent? Gundam's words seem more difficult to understand than... Uh, understand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I do hope my reasoning is wrong, but... Judging by the fact that it is impossible to escape with iron gates and plates, there's no doubt this is a crisis situation. So, it would be better to follow instructions of the mastermind who designed such an elaborated trap. If I'm going to follow, are they going to follow as well? I don't think I want to fit in with a pervert. Yikes. This is only an advice. You don't have to follow them. However, if someone drives them mad, maybe the first one to die will be Hiyoko. <gasps> don't put that on her. Are, are you trying to freak me out? Don't do this. I want Hiyoko to live! Don't talk to Mikan. Talk to Kazuichi, please. Thank you. Is that a lie? We have to accept it? Seriously? We really have to run. It can't be this way. But where do we even run? This is all closed. I don't know. So I'm going to do it anyway. I'll just run away. <laughs> run, Kazuichi. We travel with anxiety and continue our meaningless conversation. Voices stained with tension and sighs from everywhere. <laughs> and the perfect silence came in the blink of an eye. It was so quiet that even the sounds of breathing could be heard. This atmosphere, as if time had stopped, made us more anxious. However, even if this silence seemed to be eternal, it was broken by a sudden familiar sound that anyone would recognize. Uh-oh. Is it Monokuma? A body has been discovered. The silhouette of something appeared on the monitor screen. It was like a doll in the shape of a bear. Oh no, it's, it is going to be regular Monokuma. And from now on, we began to hear the voice of that 
thing stick into our heads. It's Japanese Monokuma. The voice I heard on the monitor was ridiculous and full of playfulness. But at the same time, I had an eerie feeling. It was creepy and full of malice. No monorex. Hey, the atmosphere seems to reach its climax. So let's start the entrance ceremony. Why did he not pop up like he normally does? A entrance ceremony? I wasn't the only one who heard that, right? Yes, obviously I did too. And what was up with the mood up until now? Do they mean the school's surprise event? Considering that entrance ceremony was mentioned, it really seems like that, but... They're not kidding then? This was a surprise event for us after all? This is sh I'm gonna kill the organizers of this bullsh** event. Well, I'm relieved now. It wasn't a big deal to be worried about. Even so, I was totally terrified. It was really... It's not an ordinary school either. Ibuki's heart! It almost stopped! This is a surprise event to make in this closed room? Have they completely lost it? They have to admit it. Bah! There was still plenty of time left to prepare something better for this. It was never a pleasant event? Well, it was terrifying until the end. We saw a strange figure with a strange voice on the TV. Yeah, that was weird. Sheesh. They were hard to show that surprise event. Anyways, let's take a breather now, guys. Oh, that's what y'all think. And so, everyone relaxed and returned to their original selves, facing front in preparation for the upcoming entrance ceremony. Little did they know, dang and romp rope is about to happen. Yo, Baloo, is that you? <laughs> it's the bear. It's the bear of the hour. Hello, I'm the headmaster of your academy, Monokuma. It's, <laughs> it's Winnie the Pooh. Huh? Hey there, nice to meet you all. The doll is talking. <laughs> this looks like magic. Did you just speak through the speakers? I see. <laughs> Roar! I'm not a doll. I am Monokuma. The doll moves. It's sorcery. I know quite a bit. It's just a remote controlled doll, idiot. I see. I see. Ibuki? <laughs> uh, I don't care. I'm not here to play with you guys. The doll sprained. Ooh, I see, I see. That can't be! Hey, stop making stupid noises now. As the headmaster of your academy, I'll begin the entrance ceremony. Because now I'm going to tell you the rules of living of Hope's Peak Academy. You and you guys are starting to be annoying. Before that, let's say our greetings formally. Attention, salute! Good morning! This guy. That surprised me. Look at him. You bat. I would accept something like this. It means Mr. Ishimaru is the only polite one. Now, let me explain the rules. Listen carefully. You think Mon is Mondo going to pick up Monokuma again? The trash material should always be in the trash can. So, Nagito, get in the trash can. Or the penalties are given for violating the rules. Do they lose their memories every time Danganronpa starts? Uh, well, this one apparently they did. What? Not murdering. He just said murder. You don't mean that seriously, do you? I don't think it was serious, but it was a bit too much of a joke. I can't stand this. The surprise event is over. Call the manager right now. Huh? Event? Manager? I don't know any of that. Violence against the headmaster is also against the rules, so make sure to keep that in mind. You got. Are you joking with me now? Huh? Joke? Are you talking about your head? Ha! Ha! I won't stand this any longer! Uh oh. GG. You, you idiot! Stop! <laughs> but this time he actually dies. No one's there to stop him. Hey, Kirigiri's technically not here. What is this? Get this off my screen. What was that? It's a gun! Back away! Oh, sh! You're crazy! I, I almost died! You're okay. What the? 
Where did that gunfire come from? It was fired from a decorative gun in the corner over there. All of a sudden, it was aiming at that guy. Why is such a thing in this school? So this was the situation after all. It was never an event? But hey, Matakuma, why are you doing this? Wow, Mr. Owada avoided it cleanly. If it hadn't been for Mr. Soda's warning, you would have been to the other side by now. For now, I'll leave it as a warning. Next time you try to hit me again, then I'll give you dozens of holes in your body. D it. You're a f bad. So what Celeste said was true? That's why I told you in advance. Following is the path to not cause anger. Then what are we going to do now? Whatever you want, you can just stay here. Stay here? Uh, until when? For a lifetime. <laughs> Forever. When we heard that, we all thought the same thing. We really were in a dangerous situation. Someone's gonna Mukuro? I don't think so. For a lifetime? Until we die? What are you talking about? Why a lifetime? Yeah, it can't be a lifetime. There are people waiting for us. Doesn't make sense to live here for a lifetime. Oh, dang it. There's so many, many talking all at this one time. If you just live here for the rest of your life, you don't gotta be so noisy. That's impossible. Besides, a missing person will be reported as missing in a few days. When that time happens, the police won't stand still, will they? Police? Oh, you mean those officers? I'm sorry, but the police will be no use for you here because there's no reason. All you have to do is stay here for the rest of your life with this bear. <laughs> of course, only until a murder occurs. What? The word murder appeared again. More than once, my body automatically clenches. But murder? What the hell does that... Murder is murder. It is that simple. <laughs> Not in the literal meaning. In fact... If you're told to stay for the rest of your life, there's something I've prepared for you in case you're going to go nuts like right now. Yeah. That is called graduation. If someone commits a murder, then a murder class trial will be held. Why would you tell us that? Murder? Class trial? If any of you commit a murder, the class trial will be evaluated. Mm-hmm. We've seen it. We've heard it. We've, we've been there before. Why do I actually laugh like Monokuma, do you? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine you like everybody's just like laughing normally and you're just over in the corner like boop 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 boop. <laughs> or poo. Did Mondo drop a slur or did I miss here? Did he? And you can just go back to your usual murder class shot. You, you guys already know this. We know this. We know what goes down here. I don't need to read all this again. I'm betting the first killer will either be Teru Teru or Sayaka. Possibly. I think there are there there already is like a death order out here for this. So if you know the death order, don't tell me. How is it? Isn't it perfect? What is this? What's wrong, Mr. Sato? Isn't this cheap? Isn't this cheap bargain enough? For that reason, if you don't want to rot here for the rest of your life, feel free to commit murder at any time. Whether you stab to death, burn to death, cut to death, slit to death. Electric kills or suffocate? That's up to freedom! Please kill them undetected with all your heart and soul. Monokuma's ridiculous laughter echoed throughout the gym. If it was a normal daily routine, he laughed and laughed. It was no longer that normal. By the way, a little while ago, you were saying something about punishment. What the hell is that? That is, of course, execution. Execution? <laughs> In that case of breaking the rules or losing the class trial, I have prepared something for a uh, fantastic, super special execution. If you're curious, try breaking the rules. Mondo said an F slur. I think he said uh, F U C K. Monokuma, who laughs loudly, quickly disappeared from our very eyes. But we didn't try to stop him or look at him anymore. It was because of this overwhelming situation that we had to accept this false reality that unfolded before our eyes. I'm scared of that sprite, same. Give me the Twitter. What Twitter? Fantasy was becoming reality. And the extraordinary of that reality is... 
that it has become our stage. Let's go! The prologue. Okay, review, quick review, quick review, quick review. Um, this seems very promising, I'm not gonna lie. I, what I noticed about a lot of the Korean fan games so far that I've seen out there that kind of introduce the original characters is they write them pretty darn close to the actual freaking content, the original content, like pretty darn close. I'd have to say sometimes, um, especially this one, I'm loving like some of the RPG maker things that they've kind of put into this one. Hold on. Let me see if there's any more for this one. I hope Tara makes it to chapter two, but I don't think he should make it farther than that. Same. But, um, like I was saying earlier, there is a, a death order already out for this. So I think this has already kind of been created up until about chapter four. I think they're on chapter four right now. But um, yeah, chapter one, two, three are out. We're gonna play chapter one. Uh, Zephyrim said that they were gonna send me that one uh, since, oh, they already did, I think. Yeah, they did. And there's a Discord. And I think I'm gonna head over to that Discord and meet some of the people that are translating this game currently. Cause they seem like they're really nice people. Uh, shouts out to all of the, the fan translator out there. There's so many uh, fan translators that are doing like Korean translations and also Japanese ones too. And those people are literally doing God's work right now. <laughs> like they are literally saving my life right now because I've always wanted to look at some of the Korean fan games. And like now that these translators are translating them, I can and I'm happy about that. And they, I, I'm friends with a good amount of them now. I feel like I, I know a lot of them. So they've, they've kind of kept me up to date. Zephyrum just hit me up randomly one day and was like, hey, check this out. It's a Korean fan game. Check it out. You might want to play it. Uh, show it off to your uh, your viewers. And they also helped me out with our DRA1. If you guys didn't know, um, Zephyrum pretty much translated all of that completely. And I could play that. But the thing about that is ah, when I play Danganronpa Another, and I've told people this a bunch of times, like I was so lucky getting through SDRA2. But when I was playing DRA one, it's just like people, I don't know the fan, the, the dog and Robin fan, get, fan base isn't that toxic. Right. But for some reason, the dog and Rumpa, another fan base is super toxic. They come in there and they just like, they spoil everything that they can. And I've said this multiple times, like in the past, you guys know this and it's so freaking annoying. I'm just like, why, what do you benefit? Like, what do you get out of doing that? What do you get? I don't understand, but you know, translators are gods. Yeah. Oh, hey, Blaze, there's a new episode of Dong Rabba Face Return. There is? Let's go. I'm gonna have to watch that in the future. I wouldn't say toxic, but super spoily. That, that's toxic. In my opinion, that's super toxic. Like if you, if you come into a stream where everybody is blind, there's like five, 600 people all watching it, and you come in there and you just spoil everything. In my opinion, you're toxic. That's a toxic person. Cause you're just spoiling everybody's fun and that's not that that sucks i love the nose ring blaze i hope to get one too yes get one um yeah this is a septum piercing uh they're fun um the thing about septum piercings though if you do get one in the future be careful because i would say like the first week or so of you getting one is a pain in the absolute <laughs> it sucks it hurts it really hurts so yeah, we're going to do another stream of this tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day, what is it? Thursday, we're going to be doing Dangamon. I told you guys I was going to do Dangamon next, but the reason why we didn't do Dangamon today is because I, uh, Zephyrum just hit me up like super last minute and was like, Hey, check this out. So I wanted to check it out real quick. I, I didn't realize you had a new piercing. Looks super cool. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Are you so sad about mom's death and cuphead romp? <laughs> yeah. I always feel so awful whenever I accidentally spoil somebody to my friends, like two weeks. Okay, if you accidentally spoil something, it happens, right? Like, you can't, sometimes you can't control it. Sometimes you can't control that. I've done it before, but you know, if you're going out of your way to spoil people, that's what, that's where I draw the line. Got DC, glad you enjoyed the video, Blaze. Yeah, I enjoyed it, dude. I really had a lot of fun with that Zephyrum. I want to check out more. So when you do send me to chapter one, which it looks like you did already, 
I'm definitely gonna check it out. We're gonna play it. Uh, we'll play more of it or whatever, and uh, see how the whole thing unfolds. Is it just daily life though? Also, here's the files for daily life. You can only play it with the chapter one save file. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Did you guys do chapter one deadly life yet for this series? Or is it still being translated? I'm so happy I made it to the stream. Thank you so much. No problem. I feel so bad if I accidentally spoil it. Yeah, see, that's fine. I mean, if you accidentally spoil it, it happens. This was a fun stream. Thanks for coming, y'all. Thanks for coming on this beautiful Tuesday. I appreciate you guys. Sure, make sure to test things out. And yeah, it's only daily life only. Okay, gotcha. Right now, we're working on deadly life. Sounds good, Ash. Ash, Zephyrum. You guys are amazing. Blaze, just to let you know, daily life chapter one of Mysterious Hope is being worked on. Just so you know, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Deadly, deadly life is still being made. Cool. It's the first stream I participated fully. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us then. Sorry for the technical difficulties in the beginning of the stream. I'll let everybody know. Um, I'll have chapters so you can skip all of that BS. Like if you're going to watch the VOD later. Um, so you don't have to sit there and watch us like looking at the screen and trying to fix all of the, you know, technical difficulties and all that. Great first live experience. Super happy I got to watch this. Appreciate you, Polly. Thank you. And Nagito, thank you for the 4.99. Hi, Blaze. I love the streams. I was wondering if you could try out a fan game called Hyper Danganronpa Melancholy. I get that one so much. What is that? I, I think it's already on my list. So don't worry. You don't have to keep telling me. Some of y'all, I I've there's some fan games that are definitely on the list, so you don't have to keep telling me about them. That one, yep, it's on here. It is on the list. So yeah, in the future we will. It's not fully finished yet though. A lot of people, a lot of new people this time. Welcome and love you all. Yeah, I love all of you guys. All the new people. Thanks for stopping in, uh, hanging out with us for the first time. You guys are great. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a sequel to Dong Rampa 69 with certain other characters in progress, but it seems pretty good so far. There's a sequel to Dong Rampa 69. So much content. So much freaking content is happening. Have you seen Ultra Danganronpa Supernova at sea? I think my friend works on that one. Uh, possibly. Wince Media, possibly. I think my friend works on that one. Great to see so many new faces on these streams. Thanks for coming, y'all. I'll tell you about Zarampa when I'm done with the episode. Good, good, good. Do you know about Danganronpa DH? I don't know what that is. Would you vote for Monorex for president? Yes, Ultra Despair Gang. It has a really cool aspect to the series with teams and stuff. That's cool. The sequel's pro tag is Hajime. Oh, what? That's kind of dope. Even though I don't like Hajime. So much fan game, so little time. The Zarampas are also popping off. Bro, they are popping. Like literally, like every time we do an Insta Rampa, a lot of people are coming in here and like really hanging out with us. And I appreciate you guys for that. I, and I, I really took a chance with that because I was like, ah, people ain't going to come for, you know, to watch written fan gans. It's not going to happen. But apparently people really like them. They like the written fan gans. They like me covering them. And I mean, if you guys like it, I'm going to keep doing it then. That's what I do, right? If people show that they like me doing something, I'm just going to keep doing that thing that y'all like. Why change it up? <laughs> All the chapters will tear you apart. That's the angriest I've ever seen Blaze. Wait, when? Yesterday? Uh, When we did the Cuphead Rampa stream, the last one? You're 2K away from 40K subs? I think I'm 200 away, not 2K. 200. Wait, did we hit? Did we hit 39.8K? Let me check. Let me check. No, we didn't yet. We are, we're like three subs away. Hypotheticals is doing strong at the moment. Dark turn and forgotten as well. Sounds cool. Play Rukshami's fan game now. These fan games are popping off this year. Oh my God. Dude, you should have been here about two years ago. Fan games were really blowing up. But the thing about that was there was just so many that were coming out that like uh, they weren't finishing. So now, now fan games are finishing. They're literally finishing. I have seen so many Instagram rompas that are like either close to finishing or are finished. And I, I, I'm so happy about that. I am so happy because a lot of people, they don't understand, bro. I've been waiting for a fan games to finish. <laughs> so it's cool that we could experience Dog Rampa 69, Danganmon, uh, Rampa and Friends was finished. We finished that. Also, Defiance is getting, no, Defiance isn't close. Redemption Rampa is the close one. Redemption Romp is almost there, so that's cool. Thanks for playing our team's translation. No problem, Alex. Shouts out to you on the team. I'll check you guys out on Discord, and uh, maybe I'll come meet you guys and such. My headphones are giving me technical difficulties. No, I'm sorry. 
how'd you hear about Danganronpa? Like my first ever time hearing about it. Um, it was, I always take viewer requests. I do it all the time. That's how I heard about Your Turn to Die. That's how I heard about Buried Stars. And Danganronpa was the same way. It was viewer requests. I was playing, I think I did a Persona video and somebody was like, yeah, so I see that you like Persona. So maybe you'll like this game called Danganronpa. And I was like, okay, I don't know what the freak that game is, but I'll check it out. And at that time, I knew nothing about visual novels. I didn't play any visual novels beforehand. I downloaded the PSP emulator and I put the English translation on it because it was like the Japanese version of the game. And I put the English translation on it and I did a playthrough of Danganronpa 1. And I fell in love with the series ever since. That had to be back in 2004, 15, 16. But yeah, I've been I've been covering uh, Danganronpa for a long time. And I've been covering fan gans for a super long time. I've been covering fan gans since like 2017, maybe. Yeah, about 2017, because once V3 came out, I checked out a, like an audio fan gan and that one was really cool. And then I checked out uh, Danganronpa Rebirth. That one was cool. Honestly, same in 2014 for me. Yeah, Eris, you're one of you're one of the OGs. And I can always tell when somebody's an OG um, fan. Especially a lot of y'all be exposing yourselves in the chat, yo. Like <laughs> when we're playing these fan gans and like people be up in here and they be like, oh my God, it's taking so long to get to the death. And I'm like, dude, it's only been like two hours. Man, when's the death gonna happen? It's taking so long. I'm like, I know you, I can tell y'all didn't play. I can tell you guys didn't play um, Danganronpa and you, you exposed yourself as a new fan at that point. Cause I'm like, uh, you must uh, you must be kind of new to the fan base. You must be kind of new to the fan base. Cause if you've ever played Danganronpa, any of the games, it takes forever to get through the story. It takes forever for a death to happen. You know, there's a lot of filler. There's a lot of uh, over explaining and all of that stuff. So it's interesting when I'm uh, streaming nowadays and I see people like that because there's so many people that got into the fan base within the last like year and a half, year and a half to two years. And yeah, y'all be exposing yourselves in the chat, bro. <laughs> and the filler is important. It is. It's been five minutes in game time. When is the next death? I know, right? People be like, it's been 10 minutes. When is someone going to die? I'm like, what the freak? I think uh, the biggest culprit of that was uh, when I was doing live streams for Shattered Hope. And Shattered Hope took a long time to get to the first, like, death, right? Um, Shattered Hope had a lot of, like, filler stuff that they released and their episodes were taking really long. And you know what I mean? Like that. But it was good. It was this nice, slow buildup. And it felt so good when he finally got to the death. But no one, people don't appreciate that, bruh. I don't watch you often because I haven't played the games, but you're still amazing. I love you. Oh, Shannon, I love you too. Thank you. I appreciate you. I remember wanting to watch a 30 minute video to watching a two hour stream every day. I remember seeing some people in the RNF stream saying like, why is the stream so long? Despite the fact that it's only like two to three hours long. I know, right? Yeah, that's, that was a, that was kind of annoying, Rukshami. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, it was amazing. Blaze, have you ever heard of Danganronpa Blowback? No, but uh, people just told me about it today, so I'm probably going to check it out in the future. I made my own Danganronpa Plus series. It's called Danganronpa Despair Sinks In on YouTube. That sounds cool. To be honest, I just wanted... I just want suffering and despair and mostly death. It's rare to see a fan have a compelling story like that. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm an old fan, right? I had to go out of my way to play Danganronpa. Like I said, I had to get an emulator. I had to freaking get a, I had to download a fan translation and stuff like that just to play and experience the game. Then I had to buy a PS Vita TV so I could play um, Super Danganronpa 2 and All to Despair Girls, right? Y'all don't have to do that. You guys don't have to do, it's on Switch, bruh. It's on Switch. It's on PC. It's on PS4. It's on PS5. It's on everything nowadays. It is not hard to play Danganronpa. You have no f excuse to play Danganronpa, bruh. It is everywhere. Plus, there's Let's Plays out the freaking f nowadays. Back when I uh, played Danganronpa, there was like two Let's Plays out. It was Nico B. I think it was Nico B. And I want to say that was it. 
I think Nico B's playthrough was like the only one that I saw back then. Now everybody and their mama let's played it. So if you don't want to play the games for yourself, you can go watch Nico B. You can watch Berlizzi. You can watch Game Grumps. You can watch ew, Game Grumps. You can watch anybody nowadays. There's so many people that have played Dog and Rampa. It's wild. You have no excuse to not have played the game. There's also piracy. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Eris, I love you. That's funny. I did watch a full blind playthrough. There's also piracy out here. I couldn't pirate the games. Dang it. I emulated Persona 4. Dang, when? Like a long time ago? Berlizzi's gameplays are so good. I love Berlizzi. Jazzy Guns played it. I love Jazzy Guns. Yo, Jazzy Guns, shouts out to her. She's one of the best black female streamers on the platform. I don't care what anyone says. She doesn't just stream. She also does just like Let's Plays and such. And she does reactions. But um, yeah, Jazzy Guns is amazing. Shouts out to the sisters out there. I watched Raz play it myself. Raz, yeah, Raz. Raz um is an OG in the in the Danganronpa fan base. Luka Jin, that's another good uh, Let's Player. Luka Jin is one of the reasons why I like uh, Phoenix Wright. If it wasn't for Luka Jin, I probably wouldn't like Phoenix Wright. Pirate said Berlizzi rules for real, for real. Yep, yep, yep. Anti piracy screen for Danganronpa needs to happen I, for real. I feel like Dang and Mandy did something about that. Dude, I watched Nico B play Danganronpa V3, one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I loved it. Great, let's play. Jazzy is dope. Yeah, J yeah, Jazzy Guns. I'm trying to tell y'all. If y'all don't know, let me put y'all on. Game. Peep game. Jazzy Guns. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wrong, 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 wrong. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go to YouTube. I don't plug people very often. Go to YouTube. Look up Jazzy Guns. Right here, right here. One of the best sisters in the game. One of the best sisters in the game. We talking Five Nights at Freddy's. She just played Bayonetta recently. Animal Crossing. Um, what else? I, I watched her Bayonetta. I've been, I've been trying to watch her Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. She hasn't done a video in Five Nights at Freddy's for a while. So I might have to find somebody else to do that Let's Play. She did Life is Strange. She does too much in my opinion. There's too many games here. <laughs> I've seen her before. She's good. Yeah, she's awesome. Ooh, and one shot plays. It's absolutely dope. Yep. And there's another person y'all should check out. Eris Akamatsu. Shouts out to them. They're always in the uh, chat. They are amazing. They have all kinds of Danganronpa sh posts. They got all kinds of just Danganronpa analysis videos. I pretty much watch uh, Eris all the time. Eris, I saw this video, by the way. I saw this video. This video is actually very powerful, Eris, and um, as a person of color, I really appreciate that you made a video like this. I know you probably don't want anybody talking about this, especially right now, but I'm just letting you know that, like, uh, I really appreciate that you made a video with this topic. Um, I feel like it needed to be addressed. I haven't watched her, but I'll try to find time to watch her. Yeah, she's amazing. I'm making more Danganronpa videos, but... The Tenko fan-made event they did is amazing. Oh yeah, Wentz Media is here. Let's talk about Wentz Media. Hey, Danga and family, rise up. Wentz Media is awesome. Check out Wentz. Another person that I like in the Danganronpa fan... I know we're just like rambling right now. Uh, another person that I really love in the Danganronpa community... I can't spell his name for sh she. Yeah, there we go. U.S. Aviator. This is another brother. Uh, I don't think he's been doing Danganronpa recently, though. He does the Hunger Games Danganronpa videos. But uh, he was actually in one of my videos recently. He's awesome. This is so weird. Anyway, my next video is actually about Fangarampas and advice on Fangarampas. That's cool. I think it's fine if you talk about it specifically, but thank you for the shout out. And Wince is amazing, too. Yeah, like, uh, literally, um, that video, Eris, I want to say, like, some of the stuff that you said in there, there was one thing that you had kind of highlighted. Uh, let me just, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let me, let me, let me. Um, 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 um. I'm not trying to put you on blast. 
Uh, I can't find the part. I think it's here. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I would have to look for it. But um, you, somebody, you were going back and forth with somebody and then you said, oh, I should have known or I should have known better or something like that. And I'll be honest with you. Like, there's a lot of people. I feel like we just need to educate people, you know? And, and that's the thing is just like, we we instantly want to call people like racist or, you know, transphobe, yada, 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 yada. We, we like to use terms like that. But at the same time, like, I don't see you as a racist at all, Eris. Even if you were speaking against, you know, people of color or whatever, the thing about it is, is you are, and don't, don't be offended by me saying this. You're, you're just pretty ignorant to what we go through, what black people go through. And that's completely fine because you're not black. <laughs> so you're ignorant to it. So it's up to us to educate you and for you to then apply that you know, to your, to your life and your knowledge, you know what I mean? So like, don't even feel bad about it, to be honest, because, you know, once one, once a person of color educates you about something like that, and all, all we need is your empathy. That's it. That is it. At the end of the day, that is it. <laughs> so yeah, we don't need you to speak for us or anything like that. We just need your empathy. I always try to talk to the person I'm upset with first before making accusations. So oftentimes a lot of conflicts can be fixed by just talking. Exactly. Uh, talking is very important. Just listening to each other and, you know, educating each other. I'm not offended. It's right. And it's also up to me to listen and learn. Exactly. At the end of the day. So I think that video was very powerful because you are actually admitting that like, hey, this is a problem. This is what I've been doing. I'm going to get better. You know what I mean? And that's why I felt like that video was really powerful because not a lot of people will do this, Eris. Not a lot of people will do this. And I think that's that's why I really like you personally because this is the first time that I've seen you make a video like this, right? There's been other times that people have exposed you or called you out for things and you made a video saying like, hey, dude, you're right. I was a jack. Like, at the end of the day, I'm sorry. You know? And a lot of people don't do that. They don't take accountability for anything that they do so yeah i'm done <laughs> sorry for the rant anyways thank you guys for coming to the stream i truly appreciate it you're amazing and uh i'll see you guys in the next one have you heard of web cake before no yeah it's really brave to do that man yeah because even though youtubers bring out like apology videos and stuff like that most of those apology videos are bullshit at the end of the day because they never take accountability on everything that they do in that video, in that apology video. And they just, they dance around it and stuff like that. But in all of your videos that I've seen you do, you actually like recognize the issue, right? You take accountability for it and you fit, you better yourself and you move on. But yeah, much love y'all. Have a great day. And Webcake used to be in My Little Pony YouTuber. Okay, okay. Love y'all. Bye.